Hello everybody, it is Kim with Tabletop Gaming Guild and I am here to present to you a new game for review. This is called Vinland. It is a choose your own adventure game and it plays one to six players. The recommended age level is 12 and up and takes about 60 minutes to play. So I'm excited to show you this game. Let's head on down to the tabletop and we can see what it's all about. Alrighty, so let's take a closer look. Vinland is going to come with this background information here. So definitely something to read, but these are not the actual instructions. All of the instructions are going to be on the cards themselves. And we're going to go through the first uh, about eight or nine of them so you can see how it works and that's when the big choices come into play so that's where we'll stop because I don't want to give you know too much away uh, but it tells you specifically on the direction on the top card of the directions here that it is a game that lets you choose your own adventure and there are five different endings based on the cards themselves and with the choices that you make so you want to make sure that you don't mix the cards up and only flip them over if you are given the directive to do so, like it says right here. So there are a few different types of cards. They will all have these different little icons here. So the lightning bolt means urgently. You must do it immediately. So the first set of direction tells you to draw a card two if you've not read the rules yet. And later on, when you're so familiar with the game that you don't need a refresher, you'll go directly to card three. And then this card will sit on top of the deck so it doesn't ruin anything that's coming next for you. Alrighty, card number two is an object card with this hand icon. These cards are double-sided, so you don't want to flip the card over unless it tells you to. And it just gives you a little bit more information about that card. Your object cards are going to stay out unless you are given directions to put them away. So it tells us to draw card three. And card three tells us that we'll be playing as Leif Erikson and we need to draw card number four. So card number four basically gives you a little bit of background about how uh, as being Leif Erikson, you, um, this is like the main character that you are playing here, and you have left your home, I don't want to mispronounce that, but you've had to leave here, your community in Greenland, and the reason is because your father has been suspected of murder, he's been banished, All right? And as it tells you here, you're going to draw cards, five, six, and seven, and turn this card over. So, we'll go ahead and do that. So cards five, six, and seven. <clears throat> and the back of card four gives you some more instructions. Uh, about the three different gods and what their strengths are. So, since this is an urgent card, you need to follow these directions and you're going to choose a favor. So, just for our purposes, we'll choose one. And the directions tell you, you know, there were some ravens flying over, dozens of camps are spread along the riverbank, and then draw card number eight. If card two is visible, turn it over and read it immediately and then discard this card. So those are the three directions we need to follow. So we're going to draw card number eight. And we're going to flip over card number two. Alrighty, now card number eight is our first map card. And the directions tell you that we're going to take card eight, being the map card, 
and it's going to be in the center. And then if you look down here by the compass, you'll see that there are three numbers and we're going to draw those three cards off the deck and place them where everything corresponds. So these are essentially, once you get to this card here, so you've been banished, these are your three choices. So you can choose to present yourself to the president of all thing. And then if that's the choice you make, you would turn the card over. You could choose to follow the Raven's flight because the two Ravens, that was part of an omen that we had just witnessed on one of the previous cards, uh, or perhaps a wolf's trail, you could follow that. And you can see that you would need to use in reference to the God cards or we could spend the night where we are and we would follow these directions. As you can see, if we choose to spend the night, we're going to discard card nine since it is visible. So some of the cards will affect other cards. Uh, and like I said, there are five different endings. So simply by choosing this card, it looks like anything in relation to this card would no longer be in play. Alrighty. And essentially that's what you do. You, you just follow the directions of the cards in the direction it tells you. Um, there are some games I played before where you have to like look at the cards real precisely and maybe find some hidden things on there, but that's not the case. You're simply just following the directions of the cards uh, and going on the adventure that you're taking. So let's go ahead and come back up from the tabletop and talk about my final thoughts. So final thoughts on the game Vinland. First of all, you all know that I love small games. So I'm very excited about that. It is not a rule heavy game. Another thing for me to be excited about. And it is a choose your own adventure game, which I love. Um, even just from a young child, I would read the like Nancy Drew, you know, the mystery where you, you know, turn to page 27 if you want to investigate. Uh, this is just like those choose your own adventure games. I love that there's nothing hidden in the pictures that you have to look at. There's no timer. Um, I think this would be a great game if you're just kind of bored and you want to, uh, you yourself are going to play the game. You could play with more people. It does play up to six. I think the more people you play, the um, less engaging it's going to be for you individually. You'll kind of get that feel of, you know, when you play D&D &D and you're waiting for somebody else to take their turn and there are three people who need to take their turn before you do. So it kind of gets that, that feeling of, you know, waiting a little too long. So I personally enjoy this as a single player game or maybe another person or two, um, but really, this this game I'm very excited for and I enjoy playing it and I highly recommend it. So as usual, if you love our content, please do like the video, please subscribe. And anytime you see a game that you think I would like, please, please make sure to comment it below. Have a great night, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.